<laughs> Hi friends! Today we're going to be reading a story called Sparky, written by Jenny O'Phil and Chris Applehands. Sparky. I wanted a pet, a bird or a bunny or a trained seal. My mother said no to the bird, no to the bunny, and no, no, no to the trained seal. I asked her every day for a month until she finally said, you can have any pet you want as long as it doesn't need to be walked or bathed or fed. I made her promise. Then I went to see the school librarian. Mrs. Kinglebaum, who knows everything in the world, pointed me to the volume S of the Animal Encyclopedia. This is what I found, a sloth. Sloths have been known to sleep more than 16 hours a day. They sometimes hang upside down in trees, barely moving for long periods of time. They survive by eating leaves and drinking the dew that collects in them. It is said that sloths are the laziest animals in the world. My sloth arrived by express mail. He was about the size of a mediumish dog with a flat nose and a monkey face. My mother wasn't happy, but a promise is a promise, I said. Sparky, I decided, that will be your name. I took him outside to his tree. Sparky went right to sleep. I made a sign and put it under the tree. It says, guard sloth, eat at your own risk. It was two days before I saw him awake. He didn't know a lot of games, so I taught him some. We played King of the Mountain and I won. We played hide and seek and I won. We played Kung Fu Fighter and I won again. We played Statue and Sparky was very, very good. That weekend, Mary Potts came over to investigate. Let me show you what Mary Potts is like. This is a picture of her room. So in her room, she has lots of different accomplishments, as you can see. Before she even took off of her coat, Mary said, let me see your new pet. I had some worries, but I took her out to Sparky's tree. He opened his eyes and looked at us. Then he closed them again. I rubbed his belly, but it was too late. We stood there for a while watching him sleep. His fur ruffled gently in the breeze. I feel sorry for you, Mary said. My cat can dance on her hind legs. And my parrot knows 20 words, including God and ice cream. Sparky knows tricks too, I told her, but she didn't believe me. The next day, I made a poster and nailed it to the tree outside of Mary Potts house. It says, train sloth extravaganza, countless tricks to, modify, to mystify you, just in seven days away. All week, we trained in secret. Sometimes Sparky slept through practice and I had to poke him awake. Sometimes he forgot what he was doing and we had to start over. Sometimes he took so long to fetch that I went inside and had dinner while I waited. I was starting to think the poster had been a mistake, but a promise is a promise. On the day of the train sloth extravaganza, my mother set up the lawn chairs. Three people came to see Sparky perform. My mother, Mary Potts, and Mrs. Edwin, the crossing guard. Mrs. Edwin approved of Sparky because he never ran in the street. Do I look like a ringmaster? I asked my mother. 
You look very interesting, dear, she told me. I put a little glitter on Sparky just before the curtain went up. I kept wishing I had written two, two tricks on the poster instead of countless tricks. Play dead, Sparky, I said, and he did. Roll over, I said, and he didn't. Speak, I commanded. We all waited and waited. Speak, I said. Sparky looked at me. The only thing you could hear was the wind ruffling in the trees. He was very, he has a very pretty coat, doesn't he? Mrs. Edwin said finally. You can't just invent a brand new pet like that, Mary told me. A pet is no one, a pet no one's ever even had. My mother came out with lemonade and cookies, but everyone said they had to be going. Sparky and I watched them. Then my mother made me put the chairs away. Afterward, I gave Sparky a cookie, but he ate it so slowly that I took it back again. It was getting dark out. I looked at him and he looked at me. You could hear the neighborhood dogs barking. I reached over and tagged him on the claw. You're it, Sparky, I said. And for a long, long time, he was. The end. I hope you all enjoyed today's read aloud, which was Sparky. You can find this story on Get Epic. Just search the title or the author. You can find more stories by this author. Have a good night.